I don't know what to do. I don't know where to put that damn refrigerator. Son of a... Oh my gosh. Oh. So I built this just now for the refrigerator. Um, there is a ledge that uh, it, it got up against the wall. It's about five inches tall. So this, this is gonna rest on it like that. And then the fridge should easily sit on top of that. But first, I've got a lot of cleaning to do. And then I can install the fridge. <laughs> Some of you guys hate it so much when I yell. Like, and then I can install the fridge. <laughs> Do you think that's insanity, Sober? You don't really care? It's sprinkling out a little bit. I can deal with that. Can you deal with that, Sober? Huh? No? She's still looking for gophers. Okay. Well, while she's doing that, Oh man, I got some cleaning to do. I don't want to. <laughs> do you guys ever feel like that when you got cleaning to do? I bet you do. Okay, I'll see you in a second. A few moments later. Okay, and welcome to the beginning of the project. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be taking out these, uh, these little IKEA drawers here. They're kind of cool, but I have nowhere else to put the freezer. A little bit more important than storing my DVDs, you know. Oh, I got some snake skin from Arizona. Ooh, that was cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's pretty cool. And yeah, I got all this to clean up here and set somewhere. And then... I think there's probably going to be screws in the wall. I really wish I didn't have screws in the wall, but it is what it is. The next time you see this, it's going to be boom. Going to change. Ready, set. Well, okie dokie, everybody. I got the cupboard out. The IKEA cupboards. This is the ledge I was referring to right here and on the floor. So, it sits on there, real nice. I'm gonna put uh, the freezer right there. See what it looks like. Is Sober scared to see what it looks like? It's a big mess in here, huh? Okay. Okay, so real quick before I put the freezer in, I wanted to put a non-stick pad underneath it so it won't slide around. Keep the freezer there. I could have added ledges, but... Um, I wanna see how it fits. And there we go. It's got more than two inches of space for, for the vents on this side here. It's got a lot of room all the way around. I don't know if I like this basket or not yet. Oh, I'm gonna have to figure, I'm gonna have to put something up here that I can attach right here to hold this door up. Like a little cable or something. Something. Because it just doesn't want to stay. But uh, this cord right here reaches easy to the part where I'm going to plug it in. And this has an inline fuse on it. Right here. So, yeah, yeah, it's a mess. But now I have a freezer. An extra freezer. Because as we all know... Freezer food is kind of my favorite type of food, the kind of food that I eat the most. And this just does not have very much room in it. Um, yeah. So that'll free up some space in the freezer here. And if this ever goes out on me, when I'm out on the road and can't go afford to just get it replaced or fixed right away, because these are insane expensive. I've had this on straight for like three years now because I live in the, here, in the RV here. It's been fine. 
It's been on for three years straight, though. <laughs> so, yeah. But if something ever happens, I will have this as a backup. And it only uses, like, 40 to 60 watts. I think it uses uh, 5.6 amps at 12 volts and 2.8 amps at 24 volts. So this is a 12 and 24 volt. So that'll work great. That way I don't have to, I, I'm gonna plug it in back there and I already tested it. That way I don't have to use my Jackery um, back there just for the fridge alone. I'll be able to use this for my computer up front. I just like to have a bunch of different separate systems, even though I've got 610 watts in my roof, which is plenty for everything, and four deep cycle, 235 amp hour, uh, six volt golf cart batteries. Um, right, right below here, in the compartment below, with my 3000 watt um, pure sine wave Renogy inverter. And then up there I've got uh, 40 amp, I know it should be more, but I've got a 40 amp Morningstar um, charge controller. And then I installed this breaker box with it. Yeah, nice and hidden in there. All of it'll be nice and hidden. Works out great. I've got a lot of room in there I could still use, but yeah. It is what it is. So I'm gonna find out where to put all this stuff. This stuff, the reason I didn't put the fridge right over here is because I like to put my fan in the window here and suck out all the hot air. So I had to have something to set it on. Woo! Oh. <laughs> okay, I've probably done that too much now. <laughs> I can't believe nobody has uh, noticed that I've been losing weight. I suppose you're probably not going to uh, notice that on camera because I have a wide-angle lens, so it makes makes me look uh, fatter. It adds 10 pounds. Well, how many cameras do you have on you, Mike? Like two or three? <laughs> Just one. But I have uh, secretly been losing weight, and... Everybody in my family's noticed, um, but in the past three weeks, I have lost 18 pounds, which is awesome. I'm on a roll. I might have lost more. The last time I checked was about a week ago, so I'm really happy about that. Um, I'm really happy about this freezer. I'm thinking about getting on the road soon. Shh. Ooh. Let me let me leave that for another video. Mm. <laughs> but I went to hang out with my family today and we had burgers, grilled some burgers and oh my gosh, the dogs and my nieces and nephews were just so hilarious. I should have brought the camera with, but I ha I go in and out of phases where Sometimes I won't want to bring the camera out and be putting it in everybody's faces and stuff. But it, I got to say, it's always, always entertaining going over to uh, my sister's place and with all the kids and stuff like that. One thing that's kind of really, really bothering me, though, um, is I really, really need to get a pull-behind vehicle for my rig. So when I'm camped somewhere, I can go. I mean, I've got my e-bike, but... I don't really feel comfortable driving my e-bike down some regular road where everybody's going 60 and I don't know. There's barely anything for a shoulder. Just uh, something doesn't feel right about it. So I would like to, I, I mean, I like having the e-bike for exploring around campsites and all that stuff. And technically I could take her down the road. Um, Drive it on the shoulder, you know. It's a pedal bike. You can take most pedal bikes uh, most places. Uh, but I want to get a really, really cheap tow-behind vehicle so I can just go do stuff most of the time, you know. Because I've been doing stuff like borrowing uh, my buddy's truck and stuff like that. And I just, I'd rather have my own car. 
I can't, I'm not going to pull the, uh, like, all this stuff up and leave my generator here and everything like that and drive my RV every time. That's why I wanted to, uh, every time I, I need to go somewhere just quick to the grocery stores or to get bread or milk or something, you know, that's just too much crap. But that's why I've been making this, this RV slowly um, more reliable to just sit in one spot. And uh, so I've got my pro external propane tanks hooked up here with the extend stay This was an off-brand of the extend stay but it's worked great. And then I've got for the black tank, well, for the, for the water, you guys know that I pump the water up into my rig because I don't have a gravity feed for my fresh water. Um, and then I've got this. Now this is 21 gallons. And I made a mistake getting the 21 gallon Rhino tank. Um, it's actually more than that. So sometimes I have to do it twice um, in order to empty my entire black tank. Um, I've got more than 21 gallons in my black tank. I am gonna be very interested to figure out where the heck I'm gonna put my generator and, and all that um, once I do hit the road. It's September, so, you know, it's going to start getting real cold here shortly. I've already had a few pretty cold nights, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I should get on live here soon and do some more cooking with Mike. Woo! People like that. I should do that. I should do that real quick, actually. I could do two live streams in a month, right? I think I did it last month. Yeah. But um, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Please share my video. Look at the poor Silberuja boo boo. She says, please, would you please share Mike's videos on your social media platforms and Reddit? Especially, yeah, share it on Reddit and the RV and forums and stuff. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it, Silber? How can anybody say no to this face? They just can't. It's just almost impossible. Okay. Subber is playing with some puppies and stuff too today. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> Made me sick. All right. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Or on a live stream. Woo!